Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So today we're gonna to take a quick look and a discussion on Deepin. Is Deepin OS spyware? Uh, of course, this kind of came out from uh, YouTuber Quidsup who looks at uh, this kind of stuff uh, all the time. And uh, he released videos in the past asking, is, it that, is that the case? And, you know, releasing videos saying, no, it's not. But then he finally released this one saying 15.5 contains a tracking script from uh, CNZZ. Um, uh, CNZZ, which is a Chinese tracking script. And so let's go ahead and dissect this topic a little bit. So the first issue from my perspective is we keep on, like we are in a divided world right now. And here in the United States, I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but here in the United States, it's we're getting all sorts of negativity surrounding Russia and China. It's like, you'd think that Russia and China them, themselves are the spawn of Satan itself. And so anything from Russia or China here in the United States, we are being conditioned by our news media, probably at the behest of the government, to be suspicious of anything coming from another country. Now, I've always come back in the past and said that, um, uh, and said that uh, uh, what I need to, you know, it, it's open source, we can audit the code, we know what's going on. And that is really the case. And, and that is indeed the case here as well. Uh, with Deepin, and that is, it is open source, we can audit the code. Well, it turns out, though, that in auditing the code uh, and looking at, at network action, uh, Quitsub identified a few different things. And uh, I'm not going to play all his video here, um, but um, what we actually have here is, uh, it's not, uh, not focusing in clearly, but what he notices, you'll see this red line here. This is blocked from his no tracker script. And uh, what is going on here, uh, what is going on here is this, um, uh, this particular tracking script uh, is basically like a Chinese, uh, a Chinese company's equivalent of Google Analytics. So what's going on is that he had a few network connections that he was aware of what he was going to, so he was looking for those. There are several different connections to Deepin servers, presumably checking for updates and things like that. Um, but then there was this one tracking script, which is from CNZZ, and uh, what this script is, basically it's like analytics, and it is linked into the web store. So this caused a lot of back and forth in the community. Uh, one guy left a comment on my video today, which is kind of funny because I haven't uh, actually discussed this issue. I don't recall I did anyway. Um, and uh, in that video, what he said is, is he ends up saying things like, um, uh, he said, uh, you know, it, several YouTubers came out and said that this is false. So I went ahead and looked. And so, you know, it's come up here. And, and if I just do uh, Deepin OS, I can't, my keyboard stopped working. My apologies. I can't type in Deepin OS. Anyway, you can envision me typing Deepin OS spyware on here. And I got one video, uh, one video that was actually a video from, uh, you know, and it was really a guy. He had no points, no counterbalances. He was just kind of talking about how much he hates it when people come out and say, say this is the case. Um, but the reality is this thing is a tracking script. So what's going on? Well, people are saying, well, you know, the, the deep in store is, is just a framed web page and that's what it is. Well, yeah, uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but a lot of the applications in Linux are just web pages. <laughs> a lot of them are, uh, and CSS is what's used to run up a lot of your styling in Linux. No problem with that. No issues. Um, but what happened is in the latest version of the OS, 15.5, is they embedded a tracking code in the store, which can presumably monitor and track all of the information that you're doing on the store, which basically means that a third-party analytics company is getting data uh, from, uh, from your device. Now, of course, um, Deepin came out with an official statement saying that it is not spyware. Uh, recently, there's a saying that Deepin, uh, Linux Deepin is spyware. That logic is that Deepin has CNZZ links in its website and app store. And since CNZZ will collect some client information in the browser, and thus Linux Deepin is spyware, it is a serious problem since nobody wants to have his or her private information leaked, as in the Facebook event. Deepin has to inform all of those interested in that our app store backend 
CNZZM is a website and CNZZ is a famous internet statistics analytics service provided that collects website anonymous usage information such as browser user agents resolution etc that etc is the part that is a little disturbing for some in which is just some product as Go the same product as Google Analytics. Deepin uses CNZZ to collect website access information and so to know how to improve the website experience and detect website problems. No private information can be collected this way just by the data mentioned above. Uh, we hope this clarifies the spyware thing and make the promise again that Deepin is not collected uh, has not collected user private information in the past and will not collect user private information in the future. So that's their official statement. So <clears throat> There's a few things involved here. The first is, yes, Google Analytics can pull a lot of information about a user. <clears throat> and um, uh, in, in theory, then, CNZZ also can pull a lot of information about the user. Uh, IP addresses, um, basic demographic information. Now, are they collecting, is this a script that can collect the whole telemetry? No, it would be only be able to collect the information that is involved uh, that is is embedded inside of the app store itself which honestly they shouldn't have included they should not be including it. which by the way this is part of my ongoing uh, issues with brave browser because brave browser despite saying it's a privacy centric system embeds mix panel which is not only one of the session replay scripts but it was the session replay script that was caught leaking passwords accidentally by their request that they're sent um, and this is a challenge that if you happen to have an operating system like this where you're trying to say that uh, we're not collecting any data you should not have any type of analytics script in here now is this a huge deal is this like band deep and it's spying on you it's doing more than it should I'm not finding it to be a serious major concern. I am more concerned with the collection Ubuntu is doing because Ubuntu is collecting a full um, operating system fingerprint. Uh, this, it can, it might be able to collect the full fingerprint, but it's not as likely. It will only, for example, if you run uh, Tails, for example, and you maximize the Tor browser, you will get a warning not to maximize the Tor browser because the JavaScript could, um, figure out the resolution of your monitor, which is part of your fingerprinting. Well, this script does have that in it. You know, this is an open source script. You can see what it does. And if you know JavaScript, you could actually track down what exactly is being collected. So it is true that there is some form of data collection inside of the Deepin OS based on the store. So if you were to use Deepin OS and you were concerned about that, just get rid of the software center if you can. That's kind of what it boils down to. So yes, there's data being collected. It's not necessarily spying on everything you do. I'm not sure, depending on your definition of spyware, it might be spyware, it might not be spyware. Um, still, as far as a embedded type system, it should not have C CNZZ. It should not. Their website, fine, whatever. My website's currently run at Google Analytics, but you have the option to go there. You can also block it. Uh, if you go there, um, if now it's curious to me, I'm guessing that if you were concerned, you like Deepin and you're concerned about this, I would look at whatever, uh, whatever script that's calling and whatever script that's running and simply block it in the host file that will take care of it. Um, so it's not a huge, huge concern. Um, but it is, it is possibly the first step down a slippery slope and, I would prefer they take it out. It'd be the best thing for them to do in their next release to just take it out. Um, no big deal. Uh, I mean, guys, I am sick of this fallacy. We're collecting all this information so we can improve the product. Just listen to user forums. Have a means for your people who want to volunteer information to tell you about it. You'll get plenty. You will get plenty of information in that respect. Absolutely. Um, but as far as, as running this type of thing, like running running as an analytics script on your website, no big deal. Running it in your operating system, I think we're crossing the line. So that's kind of my thought on that. I did want to clarify that because a lot of people are going back and forth. You know, YouTubers have proved it's not. No. This is collecting data in response to things that you're doing on your operating system. Uh, that's, that is, by some people's definition, spyware. 
And so if that is your definition, then yes, DeepNOS is spyware. If it's not your definition, then it's not. I personally, I wouldn't use Deepin because of this personally because there's other operating systems that don't. Now, let's go ahead and also address the other one because people are gonna talk about it. First, the Ubuntu. I have talked in vast detail about the Ubuntu. There are three specific things in Ubuntu that you, uh, that you need to be aware of. Um, and with those three specific things, with those three specific things, first is you wanna make sure that you are um, collect, uh, deselecting the opted in checkbox. That really should be an opt in, not an opt out, but deselect the checkbox to send a, a system fingerprint. You want to uninstall Popcon. You want to uninstall AppPort. Those are the three things that, that Ubuntu is doing. As far as Debian, uh, people are saying, well, Debian does all this other stuff. Debian has Popcon, which is an opt-in only. Ubuntu, if you do not opt in to Popcon, I don't think they give you the option. Ubuntu installs Popcon, but to my last knowledge, does not activate it by default. Uh, meaning that there's probably going to be either some type of opt-in or maybe they'll toggle that on in the in the release. I'm not sure yet. But with uh, Debian, Popcon is not even installed unless you select specifically to opt into that collection. So that is your difference between Debian and this Deepin, which is a embedded script that nobody knew anything about until QuitSub came out with this video and said, hey, there is some tracking analytics software in the operating system itself. And it is in one application of the operating system. I don't know, I don't use Deepin, so I don't know if you can run Deepin without that particular application. Please let me know if that is possible. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. You can check out another video right over here. You can check out my Patreon page right down here. And you can also help support us at switchtolinux.com forward slash support. I'll have affiliate links to Amazon, PayPal, and I also have some merchandise available at shop.switchtolinux.com.